Hello, welcome to the channel. My name is Alex, and yesterday, as I was warming up my car to go to work, I had a thought strike me. So, right there on the spot, I decided to record the following clip. Here it is. Yo, hello. So, let's talk some culture war crap. First of all, the fact that there is even a culture war is incredibly cringe because it's such an ambiguous term. Again, like these terms, values, culture, principles, morals, ethics, they're not really fleshed out. It's basically like those little block stats that our moms put up that says like, love, kindness, sunshine, rainbow. It's just lists of generally good things. Ditto for that whole stoicism thing. It's like, okay. <laughs> Anyway, moving right along here, what I keep on uh, hearing in the cultural space, one of the, one of the talking points we're gonna we're gonna do a right right ish one today, is this uh, perception that uh, people have become more selfish, and it's a me 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 culture and Facebook and posting and blah 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 blah. Well, um, people are inherently going to view things through their localized lens because to do otherwise would be pretty much impossible, and if you try, you're really basically just pretending, and um, kind of, <laughs> at the same time, aggrandizing yourself beyond what you are. Now, there is something to be said for the attempt at objectivity. While perfect objectivity is not going to be possible, uh, you should still try to be objective, but in the course of doing so, it might behoove you, on occasion, to be humble enough to use the word I and me to describe your localized experience of a particular playout of a set of ideas. Okay, so, this, this, this whole notion, the me, me, me generation, the, the Facebooks and things, everybody, everybody's on Facebook, you're all pushing your ideas and agendas no matter who you are. Like, uh, one Tucker Carlson clip I saw while I was just scrolling around the tube today was him talking about how, oh, notice how this is a, a, a me thing. It's uh, not about teaching children. It's about my journey, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> okay. Well, um, whenever I, I would go to, like, a church or I would go to any kind of these places, a lot of times, in the Protestant ones, they would talk about your journey. There's literally a book called the Epic, which is like your story that God is writing. Now, that might be some bleed over into church culture of the whole 1960s selfishness that I think the conservatives are talking about. But then again, part of that can be toxic, as, as they're saying. But it's also like, okay, but anything that you do is going to be mediated through you. Like, even if you're coming back to a more traditional faith, you are still involved in it. It is still your journey, and you're not exempt from being selfish just because you put on the guise of caring for something more deeply. That's your own egoistic expression, uh, which it's kind of like, it's almost like those hippie guys who are like, I've let go of ego, but all they do is gaze into their navel. That's why that's a meme, why navel gazing is a meme. It's like, y'all are just friggin' navel-gazing with your own conservative ideologies. And here's the other addendum to that. I, this is why I kind of, like, half-jokingly, half-seriously view all of these right-wing types as the cultural Marxists they're criticizing, because they have a predefined set of ways that they think that the world should function, and by various mimetic ideas that lampoons their opposition, they, they, they inject them into anywhere that they can, um, they basically want to spread those ideas and think that they are correct. And it, it's like, okay, that's, you, you have militarism, you have, um, like jingoism, you have strict defined, like norms of behavior. You have, uh, you know, the kind of jobs that are valuable. This all sounds a lot like communism, like everybody has their place as a cog in the wheel of the machine of capitalism, except in this case, the machine is capitalism with communism, but that's still a collectivist, like quasi-Marxist in the sense that they're using the word way too 
operate as a uh, super organism. Okay? This is kind of more heady stuff, but friggin' A, man. Like, I'm just, I'm tired of everybody blowing smoke and thinking that they have no fucking ego. You're all fucking ego machines. Shut up. So you like original, eclectic, and multimedia content? Well, you're on the right channel. But, it's pretty hard to do that. I had to, uh, climb Mount Avante Garde to acquire the Sacred Glove of Avant. It's very, very floppy and impotent and doesn't particularly like day jobs, which is why the only way that it can be used to stay the hand of boredom is through your subscription and your comments and your likes. And also, even more powerfully, consider donating to the Subscribestar or the Patreon, as is your good pleasure. Thanks so much. I have a website called thefractaljournal.com where you'll find all kinds of stories. And stay tuned here for more videos as well as check out my SoundCloud. Much love and cheers. Avante! Trickle dance, trickle dance, trickle dance. Oh! <laughs>